Okay, so uh, some Cantonese, right? Hola, hola means okay, good, very good. Hola, okay. Uh, welcome to Figure Talk episode 30, 3 0, okay? Uh, 30 oh, this time we are going to introduce a new brand. We, 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 I think in Figure Talk we never introduced this brand. So, you, if you're watching Figure Talk, you will see a lot of new brands, a lot of new products, new designers, new series, I'm sure. I guarantee because you know there's a lot of products in the market but you know we seldom have some you know figure collectors or you know people's unboxing unboxing many many items they they focus on one stream one brand one series or company form or sometimes you know their you know the favorite but me no I'm just boom any any figures we have to to, to show you any figures there is in the market okay Episode 3.0 is regarding Devil Toys, but this time they will work with a Singapore Singapore design team called Fabs Lab. Okay, F L A B S L A B Fabs Lab in Singapore, and uh, they have their own original design. And Devil Toys is the producers and they manufacture the, the products and the figures. This is probably the first one, but I, I heard that they are coming and the second one is coming. So. Um, this figure is, you know, it's a really designer style and, and this is really, you know, when, when you watch it, watching the figures, you know that this is designer figures and uh, this is really the current design, I mean contemporary design, you know, the mixture of uh, Samura, mixture of light, mixture of Gloria, Asian, medieval, with modern fashions, you know, a little bit, you know, the, the approach of, you know, Ashley Wood, a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit, you know. The mixture of different culture, the mixture of different time era, mixture of different you know nations, different different idea. So that's the kind of contemporary design in my point of view, humble point of view. So you may not agree, but you know this is my point. And uh, but uh, if you closely look at the figure, this is really a good looking one. But one thing is to mention, we cannot remove the helmet and the face mask. So they only got one hand. Okay, is the one head with a helmet and a face mask is really look like a samurai. Look like a samurai. I think this is the one focal point of this products. You know, very good looking, good looking samurai helmet. Yeah, but but though this is not so detailed and and and, and detailed enough with the you know historical and historical accurate one, but this is designer toys. It's different, but this is obviously a samurai helmet you, you you if you don't agree okay i have nothing to say samurai helmet but it designed one okay it looks like a bit you know for myself look like a little bit a little bit in the shadow of <sighs> i'm your father yeah from star wars okay you know who is the figures i think they are inspired by by the you know the dark waiters but also something like a Nazi, you know, we, we don't promote like Nazism, but this look like, you know, Nazi arm badge, okay, but at the same time, but this is a really, really fashionable fashion hoodies, you know, with a skeleton paint on it, and uh, also mixture of graffiti culture, he have two spray print, okay. Oh, look like metal. I'm not sure what what is it made of, but I think it's maybe metal. But it's really cool for them to have them. So you can see all the real details. I think it's some words or sentence on it. But I cannot watch with my, you know, middle aged man eyes. I am not sure what they were written. But maybe you can see on the camera. Anyway, they have two spray paint for the gravity. Okay, so it's very funny. At the same time, his gravity. And his warrior. Oh, he have many many weapons. You can see he is the first weapon is the you know the red color samurai sword. Okay, but okay. But at the back he have two other whoa sign fine sword. Maybe a big sword, very big one. I think two is identical, but you might see the color is different. So you are you will be happy because this is hand painted. You know they have a uh, he very heavy battle wand and a new you know uh, shadow highlight different things on the weapons. So yeah, they are hand painted. Yeah, more many collectors like hand painted 
accessory. This one is hand paint. You can see the details here. Yeah. Not a really bad. Not really bad. A very good design of sci-fi weapons. Okay. We have to go back, get them back to their scabbard. Okay, let's have a look on his back. A very good pose, right? Once again, thanks to our designer to, to make a very good pose to play this is display it and I'm shot seven. Okay. So yeah, yeah. We have we have the we have the most most of the time we have the products are still selling in this store for seven. Okay. So if you like if you like them just come. But I think the, the quality is not only a few pieces every time we, we won't stop too much okay and um yeah more, for more local hong kong customer they, they know they know better me they, they better know me no, no no they know very uh they know me very well and uh, i'm always saying like that don't keep stop okay okay so i don't know what is it but look like an armor but anyway it's a very cool and a very battle battle worn like you know painting but sign fine uh, Okay, I, I would I would turn the figures around and and Stanley can you know you know you know yeah. Um, he has a very fashionable stylistic trousers or pants. You know, I don't know what I call it in English, but you know, very fashionable. I see some young men wearing this kind of pants. Very cool. But I cannot accept myself to wear this. Stanley, will you wear this? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very young so he can wear. But I'm not it's not good for me. Okay. A very you know, the hoodies have a very sty stylistic print on the on the fabric and also a t shirt. Uh, what you say? Uh, bullet bullet punk. Bullet punk. I don't know the meaning of bullet punk. But he has some shoulder armors on his shoulders, so he is safe when some people attack him on his shoulder. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, no problem, no problem. I have shoulders. I have armor here, here. But if you attack me in the middle, okay, no armor. Just kidding, just kidding. No. A very cool helmet and mask-looking figures, but you know, only this head. Okay, no, no, a human-like head from given graffiti left hand okay double double big sword sci-fi sword so I've, I don't know the, how to use the hoodies you know cannot use but if you can replace a human like head it should be fun okay and then we go to his other fashions he had two boots he had two boots okay one you know very famous brand like sneakers and other ones okay and uh two spray can and uh all together six finger hands you know different stretchers fees uh sort scraping fees and uh, this is you know uh, like a chinese style kung fu hands and six piece of ninja weapons there's a special name called fumo but but I, I don't know how to how to how to speak in English. But use you guys ninja or samurai lovers, you should know that. Okay. So ah, oh, I forgot to introduce this is Devil Toys, the ghost of Kurosawa from De Devil Toys crossover Fab Slap. Yeah, this is the ghost of Kurosawa, and uh, we are introducing the original colorway, the black one. We call black one, and there's another one called Full Ghost. Wow, Stanley, you are really good helping hands for me. Yeah, and this is the full ghost versions. Yeah, they are sold out on on their own website officially. But yeah, here he still have one or two piece. I'm not sure how many piece. Uh, but uh, some some other area is is busy, so I cannot ask her to check the stock. But anyway, still have one at least at least one. The white the white color one is called full ghost mode version. I think there should be some different. Right now, I can see the color difference, but I'm not sure if there are some special weapons. But for the price, they are the same. So I guess they have, they are, 
they have the same uh, uh, content of accessories but only the, the colorway of the fashions okay okay thanks thanks Stanley for the help yeah this is Fab Slap crossover wow so many crossover free crossover yeah I might forgot the this brand but I cannot read the, the brand name so if you guys from Fast Lab, this company and Devil Toys forgive me or let me know or you can give your comments behind below believe the believe the video and let all the audience and collectors know what are they what are you guys Fab Slap from Singapore Devil Toys from Hong Kong George and this sorry I really cannot read okay uh, but anyway it is very good designer items besides you know some mainstream you know like big big balls Ashley Wood, you know, and beside him, there's some, still some other new designers or, or new and good designers. So, thanks for watching episode 30 of this Devil Toys Ghost of Kurosawa. And please share the page or share the video you like and ask your friends and collectors, buddies to, to like my page. And yeah, then I can, I can, I can, I, can, I will keep to keep to keep. Keep up my work and then continue to share some new products. Any, you know, popular or not popular or new product for you. Anyway, uh, enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. See you and bye bye.